I think when Indian designers start believing in Indian textiles, only then they will be able to make a difference globally. Krishna, I would like to have your personal opinion on how being an Indian designer, you can help the craft of India. We have a big tool in our hand especially if you're an Indian designer because India today has a wealth of uh, arts and crafts and we have these beautiful artisans who are sitting in the little villages. If designers like us who are traveling all over, who have the pulse of the market today, can bring this to them and make them do things which are more adaptable in today's world, I think they will have consistently work to do we will be able to showcase whatever they are and more and more people will be able to wear them. The craft need not die. So I think this is my main aim today, to bring in stalwarts, to bring in designers who can go to the weavers. And We need this to go further and be able to nurture more and more. I've been trying to tap into my roots basically through the Indian crafts and the textiles. I haven't been able to find a source where I can just go and work with a group of people or one individual at least in one part of the country. So one side of me is really excited about what's happening here in India with amazing bodies of work coming out. But me being in New York as a designer, you know, I need to have those resources to take it out there and really expose it there and I'm, I need more help. Everything in the world can change just through education alone. I, because education leads to perception, perception leads to demand. Is India having the right uh, system of, I would say, textile and fashion education to nurture the craft? The problem with most fashion institutes in India are that they emulate fashion institutes. Their courses are standardized and set up by fashion institutes probably New York or London, but you have to realize that India is a beast by itself. I get interns from design schools all the time. I have not met a student till today who can drape a sari, tell me how many meters a sari consists of, and that's a shame. The most young designers in India are geared towards a foreign market without even knowing what the market is. You know, they design in a vacuum without even knowing who their end customer is. Don't you think that one of the problems is that here we teach a certain fantasy of fashion, but where is the reality of fashion in India? Reality of fashion in India lies in the fact that if you do not understand India's culture, you will never be a designer who's successful pan India. Indian fashion institutes should not just teach you how to cut a cloth, but they should also make you understand the socio-economic patterns this country follows.